you're not a fan of a low carb, high protein diet. You reckon that's not good for you at all? Yeah. So again, uh, if we look at all the pillars, um, mice live longer if they have a low protein diet. But mice don't like to have a low protein diet when they're older, right? In people, our own work, um, if they have a low protein diet and then move into a moderate protein diet when they get older, they do very, they do the best. Um, and then proteins control uh, at least one of the major or several of the major IGF-1. They control TOR signaling. So, um, yeah, so I think in general, uh, if you look at all the pillars um, and um, you conclude it in, in and not just our epidemiological study, uh, studies, also lots of work from Harvard, for example, looking at uh, people on a, on a low-carb diet, uh, especially if it's not plant-based, they tend to do worse or much worse than people on a, on a high-carb diet. So, uh, yeah, so if you put it all together, including the centenarians, uh, um, again, you know, never met one that was on a low-carb diet, um, you you go with the, with the high carb diet, mostly plant based, uh, uh, low sugar, uh, you know, relatively low starch. That seems to be it, it's, it, it, even the people that are fans of the low carb diet, they will admit that's probably not so bad, right? Uh, yeah, and that's really what we're trying to achieve. Say, could this be as good as what you think the low carb diet may achieve, right? And say most of them will say yes, but now in in our in, in my case, when they talk about the longevity diet, they say it does not have the risk that you know, I, I we already have fifty years of data on this, and so we're really de-risking the the recommendations. Um, whereas you know in the low carb in the ketogenic diet domain, uh, there's still a lot of uncertainty with lots of data suggesting they'll make you live shorter and longer. Yeah, there seems to be confusion, certainly with the people out there who aren't scientists, uh, who uh, are confused between, let's say, the, the high-protein diet, the high-carb diet, and then you made the distinction between the high-carb diet and the excess-carb diet, which is reliant on sugar. Is it the case, then, that sugar helps to accelerate the aging process? Because there was a relationship there I've heard you talk about before between uh, sugar and cancer and sugar and aging. Yes, but it's very complicated because one thing is to think about a simple organism where sugar directly uh, connects with the pro-aging genes. And one thing is to think about a human being where sugar is highly regulated. And uh, and so you could have um, lots of sugar but not necessarily lots of sugar-dependent signaling, right? Uh, but you could, you could, and you could, uh, but not necessarily, right? So then it's really a matter of insulin and IGF-1 and TOR and, and lots of the signaling. So what is that sugar? So if you took on lots of sugar, um, how long, you know, what is the effect of that sugar on insulin resistance, insulin sensitivity, et cetera, et cetera? What is it on the signaling molecule? So it gets pretty complex, but I think in general, um, and then you have to think about age-specific uh, use and importance. So sugar may actually be very important to an 83-year-old as an infection, right? And, and you know, somebody's got COVID, and it may be that the difference between life and death could be, do you have enough sugar uh, to support some immune system uh, expansion to fight the, the virus, right? So I'm speculating here, but 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 this is pretty clear that and we also saw with proteins, as you get older, a, a few extra pounds, maybe higher sugar levels, higher protein levels could actually be helpful to you, right? So, and I know it sounds confusing, but but that's the way it is, right? So we cannot, uh, like I always say, you cannot lose the the uh, the keys in the dark and go look for them in the light, right? Uh, so I'm, it's, I'm sorry, it's in the dark. You can, if you want to find them, you, you, know, you got to look in the dark, right? So figure out how to look in the, the dark. And unfortunately, people, you know, it's too complicated. I mean, oh, we're now up and down in sugars and carbohydrates and starches. Yeah, well, you know, guess what? Nutrition is uh, is, is one of the most complex uh, uh, fields out there. And, and people, it's not about carrots. Uh, so I think that uh, the future... Um, it's going to be a, a progressively more respected field because it's so central to, 
to life and, and health. If you enjoyed that video, I know you'll get some value from this video right here.